YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to the family. If not, welcome back. So today's gonna be a quick, short video. Today's video is just about what I'm gonna be putting in my toddler's bag for the week. Today is Sunday, so every Sunday in the afternoon, I do pack his bag, his lunch box, and prepare him for the week ahead for daycare. So, She's no regular girl. Bag. I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, he's only two, why does he need such a big bag? The other bags he had, their quality was really poor, the bag was bursting, it was tearing. So I went to Walmart and I got this bag. Honestly, I love the bag. Like, the straps, there's cushion in it, it's extremely strong. And the good thing about this bag is he could have it till he's about three or four. Because like I said, it's like a big boy's bag and it's a lot. And it's good on quality. <laughs> Alright, so let's get straight into the pack and let me just start by saying that the bag itself is extremely deep it's wet and it has two front pockets here which i love and i'm gonna tell you and show you guys why later on in the video all right so, all right, so no matter what season there's always two pair of changing clothes in his bag but now for me some is basically done so i just took out the shorts that he had in his bag and replaced it with some long pants keep in mind it is daycare so i try to make him as comfortable as possible so even if it's sweats or those jeggings jeans i put him in this so here we have an outfit with a long pants and a long t-shirt here we got a jeans this jeans is pretty soft so i do let him go to daycare with it with a short sleeve so this is the first two change of outfit that I put in his bag that always stays in his bag unless if he does have an accident and they change him, then I'll always add another pair of toes. Every Monday, we do have to send him with his blanket to cover up for daycare. And it, guys, if you have kids that go to daycare, you do know sometimes your kids come home with stuff that's not theirs or it just so happens there's other kids that have the same exact things on him. So I really put Anthony's initials on his stuff so we do know which is his because there is times that there's stuff in his bag that's not his so a blanket goes in his bag every monday morning and here we have pj so and there's two people that fix up anthony either me or his dad i always put a pajama in his bag just in case god forbid happens that anything that i can't pick him up or his dad can't pick him up at least another family member or godparent can pick him up and he has a pajama for the night so this always stays in the bottom of the bag so once we have the two outfit his blanket his pajamas i'm gonna go ahead and put his asthma pump don't come for me like it's so hard to find a case i tried pharmacy i tried walmart and nobody seems to have case for asthma pump so for now this is not presentable but i did order from amazon an asthma pump case should be getting it in the next two weeks so this goes to daycare he has two pumps one stays with me, one stays with his dad. The one that stays with me goes to daycare every day and comes back home. He never leaves it in daycare. And then we have another Ziploc bag, once again, not presentable, but everything is in here. His Benadryl, his Tempra, his Advil, syringe, and then we have this little, what is it called? An antibiotics, we got this. But three years ago, two years ago, when we did go on vacation back home in Grenada, and he had some warts coming out in his mouth. So this is what's in there. So that's basically about it. I usually add Pampers, and Pampers only goes in the bag if daycare tells me they need Pampers. So I'll bring them like a half a case of Pampers or pull-ups, and whenever it's done, they let me know the Friday so I can always bring some for the following Monday. So that's all that's in his bag. So once this is done, we're gonna close this up. And then the two secret compartments that I really love, what I do, Anthony loves these. Like he has one of these every single day. Okay, so I put one of them in the front pocket. Turn it around. And then on the other pocket, we're gonna put some goldfish. He loves doing both goldfish compared to the other one, which is the size of 
and so that's a thumbnail and the reason why i love these two pockets where i just put the snacks is the reason why he does go to daycare with a lunchbox daycare do provide food but anthony's extremely picky so there is days where i just send him with a lunchbox with food snacks so there's many times I tell them, you know, even though he's not eating the daycare food, give him a snack, but at least save two snacks in his lunchbox for when we pick him up. Either it's dry food or, you know, his food sippy thing, like I just showed. But there's days where he eats all his snacks, and then when we pick him up, we have nothing to give him. So these two compartments, I always have extra snacks. Um, so if it just so happens that he does eat everything off, from his lunch box at least he has snacks in his bag for when we pick him up so this is everything that's in my toddler's daycare bag i hope you guys enjoy this video and we'll see you guys next time peace Bus chick, you that them now feel yuck so that stand up well at dress but she no regular girl no regular my girl and i'm regular girl